do five exercises with you to increase your happiness while you're sitting here on your seat, inshallah ta'ala. So the first thing I want you all to do is to please smile, even if you're faking it. Number one, it's charity. You're going to get some good deeds, but listen to this research. They did a study where they took depressed patients and they put something in their mouth to fake a smile. And they scanned their brain throughout the whole process. And it just took about four minutes of a fake smile to actually turn the parts of the brain that registered sadness off and light up the parts of the brain that registered happiness. It's a sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Revive that sunnah. It hurts me so bad every time I walk into the masjid. And I don't see any smiles. <laughs> like we're the ummah of smiles. We're the nation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi who the Sahaba said we never looked at him except that he was smiling. The next thing I want you to do is to turn to the person next to you. Brothers with brothers, obviously, sisters with sisters, unless you're mahram. And I want you to turn around and please do this. Either shake or hug the person next to you. And I'm going to tell you why. So they did a study where they took women who were experiencing postpartum depression. And the sisters can relate. And they grouped the women into three different groups. One group, they gave them antidepressants. And one group, they gave them a sugar pill. Placebo, nothing. And then the next group, they ask their partner or their husband or whoever is with them to just touch them, their skin, to have skin-on-skin -skin contact for five minutes a day. And guess what happened? The women who got that five minutes of skin-on-skin -skin contact reported lower levels of depression, even lower than those women who took antidepressants. SubhanAllah. Now we know this is a sunnah of our Prophet ﷺ. I don't need to sit here and quote to you study after study. The Prophet ﷺ, to encourage us to shake each other's hand, he said that as long as you're shaking someone's hand while you're holding their hand, what happens? Your sins fall. The Sahaba would sit there and hold each other's hands for like 20 minutes. And then they'd walk past the tree and let go and then reunite and shake each other's hands again. The Prophet ﷺ constantly touched his Sahaba. How many hadiths do we have of a companion who says, oh, the Prophet ﷺ spoke to me and he put his hand on my shoulder. Forget that. Just take out your phone. Yalla, everyone. Bismillah. And open up the notes app. If you don't have the notes app, write a text message to yourself. And I want you to think of three things you're truly grateful for. It can be the fact that since you woke up this morning, your heart has been pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood throughout your body, and you didn't even have to think about it. Allahu Akbar. Or it could be the fact that right now your kidneys are and your liver are purifying your blood, and you didn't even have to say in the morning, hey, can you please do that for me today? It could be the fact that we are gathered here today in the company of angels, literally. Where the Prophet ﷺ said that there's no gathering like this except that the angels are there. And that the angels cover them with their wings and that the tranquility and the sakina of Allah descends on them. It could be the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you with food today. I want you to write down three things that you're grateful for. Studies have shown just doing this simple exercise every day for 21 days can increase your baseline happiness by 25%. While you're on your phone, I want you to message someone that you're grateful for and express your appreciation towards them because the Prophet ﷺ said, Men lam yashkuru nas, lam yashkuru Allah. Those who do not give thanks, who are not appreciative to people, are not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It can be your parents, it can be your spouse, it can be your sibling, it could be a friend. It can be whoever you want it to be. But don't leave here tonight without sending that message. And last but not least, listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Would you like the Prophet Sallallahu to make dua for you to be happy? 
I'm not going to say it until I get an answer. Would you like the Prophet Sallallahu to make dua for you to be happy? <laughs> Insha'Allah. Okay, Bismillah. Listen to this authentic hadith. May Allah bring happiness. May Allah is Allahumma, right? A dua. May Allah bring happiness to a person who hears something from us and he conveys it as he heard it. You heard many hadith from me today. Pick one. Share it with someone. And the Prophet ﷺ will make dua that you will be happy. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who's capable of all things. I ask him by his greatest